In this video, I'm going to show you the Trigger 2 free plugin in Reaper. Now, in my last two previous videos, I was working with this project and I showed you how to replace the drum sounds to make them sound more aggressive, or at least better. We have some drums, bass, a couple of guitars, and a vocal. Let's see what it sounds like now. And again, it sounds pretty good to me, but I want to make the drums pop more or sound more aggressive or more live. And in the previous videos, we did that with samples or using a MIDI trigger with our sampler. But in this video, we're going to use the Trigger 2 free plugin by Steven Slate to do a similar thing. And as you'll see, it's a bit different. So if we go to the Steven Slate drums website, we can see right here we have Trigger 2. We could buy it if you want. But if we scroll down right to here, there's a Trigger 2 free version right here. So you can choose this, set up an account if you need to, and once it's downloaded and installed correctly, we could reopen Reaper. And we're gonna start off with our kick. Let's duplicate the kick track, right click, duplicate tracks. I'm gonna rename this one Kick Trigger 2, and we'll go to the effects on this track. And then we'll search Trigger, and if it's installed correctly, we should have the Trigger 2 free Steven Slate plugin right here. We'll double click it, and it looks like this. And because this version is free, it's a bit more limited than the paid one, but it's still very useful as you'll see. So let's go to the browser, and we can see we only get two kicks and two snares, but we get multiple mic'd versions of each. So let's go to kick number five, and we can see there's multiple samples or mics with that one kick. Open this one, and it's the same thing. So we'll just drag all these samples down to here, and then we can blend them and see how much we want to use of each. We'll start with the Z1, which is close mic'd. Then we'll use the SSDR, which is very live. And finally, the NRG, which is also very live. In fact, if we don't like the close mic sound, we could just use these two and still get a very useful sound as we add it to our current kick or snare sound. And let's do the same thing for kick 11. Start with Z1, then the SSDR, and the NRG. So now we have six sounds to choose from, which we could blend in the mixer. So let's go back to triggering. Here they are, and here's the volumes for each. Let's start out turning them all down. Except for the first one, let's solo this track and let's see how it triggers. We can see up here that our peaks are going above these lines, letting us know it's going to trigger the kick. And we can readjust our input if it's not triggering correctly. But that looks pretty good. Now let's hear it with the original kick drum and blend it to taste. Now, if it sounds weird or phasey, we could flip the phase right here. But notice it sounds very hollow. So it sounds better like this. Now let's bring in these room mics. Let's turn this off for now.
Let's hear that with the other drums. Let's compare it to these other samples. Let's turn these off for now. Let's mix in this one. And let's try these room mics. I think I prefer this close mic to this one. Let's hear it with the other drums. I think that sounds better. Let's do the same thing with the snare. Right click it and duplicate it. Rename it Snare Trigger 2. And we'll put the plugin on here. Let's slow it, go to the browser, and this time we'll choose the snare sounds. And again, we get two samples, but six mics to choose from. We'll start with Z1 and the room mics. And the same with snare 21. And again, even if we don't like the close mics, the room mics are still useful to add to our snare. Notice how much ring this one has. So if we want more ring, we could add a bunch of that. Go to our triggering, and let's check our input. Let's bring down all the mics and start with this close one. Let's try this one. Again, notice how much ring this one has. Let's hear it with the rest of the drums. Now let's hear it with everything back in.
before. Stupid after. It sounds very tame. After. I think I prefer what all the room mics add, and even though the free version is pretty limited with how many samples we get, it's still very useful for a certain kick or snare sound. So that's pretty much it. That's the Trigger 2 free plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.